Large parts of eastern Australia remain underwater after a week of relentless rain. Emergency services, which last year battled unprecedented bushfires, are now rescuing residents from flooded homes. Hazards include dangerous debris lurking in the floodwaters. Torrential rains have been unstoppable in Australia's east. Bridges, roads, cars, and buildings are surrounded by water. The flooding has forced tens of thousands of people from their homes. Rescue efforts are underway to assist those left behind. Hello, is anybody home? Days of heavy rain have caused rivers to burst their banks and water levels to rise. The debris is making recovery efforts all the more difficult. It's quite dangerous in regards to coming up on the boat. One of the main problems we've been encountering is large logs, uh, TV screens, couches, kayaks, things like that. It's got the waterways are quite dangerous at this point in time. How many more and it seems there? that boats are the only option to save those okay. stranded in the terrain. We got them. We got them all. Some residents have decided to stay home and weather the storm. People around us not so lucky. Houses in the next street have lost bottom floors and gone under and neighbours have lost their front yards so far. I'm lucky. Several areas have been declared disaster zones, with floods and severe weather warnings issued from southeast Queensland to the border of Victoria. And the cost of the damage is already being felt. I'll lose, lose a fair bit because uh, if the water stays on these too much, the fruit will just drop. So if the water gets off quickly, that's fine. But down in the other side section over there, it takes a while for the water to come off. So I'll end up losing the fruit there and I'll probably might lose the trees too. Authorities are also offering funds for the displaced. They're warning residents to be on high alert. Overnight, uh, unfortunately, some weather conditions have worsened and those uh, weather conditions are likely to worsen during the day. So many communities will experience increasing heavy rainfall. And as we advised yesterday, about 18,000 people have been evacuated. And regrettably, we have warnings now for an additional 15,000 people that may need to be evacuated. While there have been no lives lost, Rebuilding the homes and businesses destroyed in this disaster will come at the highest cost.